fish are in there that have hatched already. What other fish besides Sunny and Bass are there in there? That's all. That's it? And that's, that's the food chain. The Sunnies are the main protein source. Oh, here they are. Here are the big guys. I hear a frog too. Lloyd, did you dig all three ponds at once? No. Dug the main pond, then the second pond, then this pond, and then the one bottom of the hill. And how many years did it take to span that all that digging? Wow, that's great. Now we want to dig some more. Yeah. <laughs> really captured a newt. Uh, oh, where'd he go? Oh, how neat. We interrupt, interrupted her copulation. <laughs> It Sorry, Mrs. Newt. <laughs> you see her from an eye level? Let's see if in. Wow. Whoa. Too close. Okay, Mrs. Newt. We'll put you back. His partner took off. <laughs> oh, there's, you know, there's some Seems more like newts. there's plenty more. There's lots of newts. The only time I've ever seen a fisher hmm. like during the hunting season, that thing is like huge. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest fur bear around other than a beaver. Side of our future lean to. See, we can't can't build over there at all in any place because it's all wet, but this this is all solid up here. You look like John Muir. <laughs> You've got quite a naturalist with your loppers. You. <laughs> <laughs> that is a compliment, absolutely. You have no idea what these plants are. But they look very exotic. They look like they should bear some kind of fruit. They probably are. They look like they're related to a jack in the pulpit or. Hmm. Boyd's favorite pastime creating a very delectable habitat for the deer. The upper pond. Or did some grafting. Come in here. Okay. Right. The big stump here, and the one going up out of the top. That's that's a graft, and wow. there's a graft on that side. So that's the new top. That's the theory. Hmm. And then we'll come around too. Here's a good one. This stuff. And usually be two graphs here. Oh wow, what kind of apples are put in there now? This is a lodi. Wow, neat. So you cut off that limb and then you cut added that limb off and graph two it. graphs. Very neat. <clears throat> and I I want this to get all the main light, but I was afraid to cut it off until they were established. Very neat. There are more, there are more up in there, and there are more up in this one. This is the off year. There'll be very few apples. 
So every other year they every really. Every other year yeah. is, the, hmm. is a strong year, unless there's a freeze. But there's so many. Is it possible to plant trees that so that you have apples every year, or yes. do they kind of all? Yeah. That <coughs> tree on the end is going to be. That's the on year. Mm -hmm. Last year was off, so that's going to be good. And. One of these is also going to be good. How can you keep track of what's on and off? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't sign off on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, these are getting too close together. I need to do so much cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Stand back over here. And, uh, Little willow tree. The next time you come up here, you're going to see a little bass nest <laughs> and sunny sunfish nest. This is such a good You've probably discovered the same thing when you want to have a little warmer water, you fish, you swim over to this side more. Right? That's right. It gets <laughs> a little more sun, I think, over there. Let's walk down by the rock. We might see some bass off that. Okay. $40 to mow all this? Everything wow. All out there, all around, up and down and back. He has a club mm. cadet, a good size one, and he just moves. <laughs> he just... Guess so. You need to. So, is this what you visioned when you bought the place in 68? Yeah. I mean, ponds, I didn't envision it this way. I didn't know what would happen. Mm. But everything uh, worked out. We had water and we were able to build the ponds. That was number one requirement after the end of the road. Yeah, it's just so spectacular. Now we're getting offers for the right of way through the property. <laughs> Can you imagine that? No, that's great. Sure is beautiful. It's hard to imagine you planted so many of these trees. And, well, look yeah. at these bushes right down here. These are, uh, I forget even what. We have brush willows? Oh, oh wow. They are, but these are prime uh, wildlife food. Mm. I planted them as little slips, you know, eight wow. inches long, little, yeah. little things. And I forgot mm. all about them. <laughs> and here they are. And I thought they were going to be choked out. And it's a little... A couple big ones down there, that's a multiflora way down there. There's an evergreen trying to grow in there. And here are the little red maples coming up and that's mm -hmm. that's deer browse for next winter. Hmm. That's their favorite up to a quarter of an inch. Oh really? And they've been chewing them off and they shoot up again. They do a pretty good job of pruning themselves. Yeah. What a spot. Now we're looking at, this and is the most successful graft. Yeah, and I, see I put two in mm -hmm. and then made a choice which was the strongest. Mm -hmm. So this is the one. And for the last few years I didn't prune around it because I didn't want storm damage or something to break that graft. But, but it's, you see the, it's all healed up. Mm -hmm. And then now there's another one. This is the, there's a pretty one over here, and I'll show you what to do here. Now, what kind of apples have been grafted onto this tree? And <laughs> this, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop here. this off. Okay. You make, oh, okay. There's the old wax. Mm-hmm. And this one, I'm, I'm going to leave both. Uh, peel these right. off. So this is a wild apple no, that you... this is... Yeah, this is wild apple. And this is a domestic apple. I, I don't remember. Hmm. <coughs> Very neat. What it is, but come around here and you can see. Yeah, Oops. just shoot that upper side. Here's a nice. Oh yeah. Now when you actually graft them, 
you cut the shoot and then you would kind of split. splice it into the tree? Yeah, in this case, uh, we split the, cut it off and split it with a chisel and then took uh, branches about that size and made a V mm -hmm. and slipped them down and, until it touched the cambrium right between the bark and the, and the wood. And then you wrap them with cloth yeah. first, or how do you keep uh, them tight? It's best to take uh, raffia or string or mm -hmm. whatever it is that's, that's going to rot or break, or you cut it a few years later. But the worst thing is damage from uh, creatures or storm. Mm -hmm. They're so weak, but now these are strong. These are, that's great. You know, that we're here. Looks good. Another tree that was terrific over there. Now the tree has died back for I don't know what happened to it. Hmm. Mortality takes a percentage, so you can't count on planting 10 bushes or 10 trees. And 20 years later, if you have anything over four or five, you're doing great. <laughs> Something that's no, shaking their tails. Yeah, they, something, they, about they, that. something that's shaking their tails at me. The one from the musical that goes, Love makes the world oh, go round. Oh, we'll see. Love makes the world go round. Somebody soon will love you if you're not loved right now. Hi. The, your, your lullaby that you used to sing. Good night, ladies. Good, Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. It's, it's time, time to say. say. 